So, you went to the doctor. The doctor says, you're healthy as a horse. Wow, that's awesome. Doc, I'm healthy as a horse. But what does that really mean, okay? And we really wanna break this down. So when you go into your doctor and he says you're healthy as a horse, and he might have ran some blood work on you and did a little physical exam, but what did he really test in his blood test for you? Do you know? Do you not know? You probably should. You probably should definitely find out, right? So when they look at different things like this, usually different general practitioners look at only a couple different tests on your yearly exam or physical and blood work. With this, they usually look at a CMP, a comprehensive metabolic panel. And usually an overlay, it covers kidney, liver, electrolytes, basic things like that. After that, they usually do a lipid panel on you, which is your cholesterol, HDL, good cholesterol, LDL, bad cholesterol, the ratio and such. Okay, after that, they might do a CBC, which is a complete blood cell count, which covers like white blood cell count, red blood cell count, hemoglobin, hematocrit. So white blood cell count can mean infection if it's high. They wanna make sure red blood cell count's good. These are just three basic tests that they run on labs, usually for patients that come in. They're not diving deep into everything that you really want to look at and that can affect your daily life. So let's talk about some of these different tests. First, your hormones. We talk about hormones all the time, but we really don't understand how much hormones play in our general daily life and quality of life. They affect a lot of different things like energy, memory, metabolism, sleep patterns, and a lot more. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're checking for these things. Are you looking at a hemoglobin A1C? You're saying, John, what's a hemoglobin A1C? This is a three month sugar average of your blood sugars. This will tell you if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic. You wanna know, because listen, if your sugar levels are high and they stay high, you can get diabetes type two. And then this will affect your health all the way down the line, even to your kidneys, okay? So you wanna make sure that you know what your hemoglobin A1C is. It's a three month average of your blood sugars, right? And there's more tests that you can do. You can check your vitamin levels like vitamin D, which we check here at Titan Medical Center and eight out of 10 patients either come back deficient or extremely low, okay? And this can have direct health effects to you. People might be deficient in vitamin B12. We can test that too. So you wanna look at all these different things that really make your body function. There's not only three different tests that just look at and say, hey, you're healthy as a horse. That's such a general statement and it's really not personalized health. And I think they're doing you a disservice in my opinion. But don't take it from me, guys. Check out for yourself, see it for yourself, and make sure that you're checking on your health because you are the master of your health and you hold the keys to your body. So at that point, do the best for yourself because you only have one temple and that's right there, right? If you want help with any blood testing, you have questions or concerns, please reach out to us here at Titan Medical Center. We're here for you guys. Call or text us at 
389-3220. And check out the website, guys, TitanMedicalCenter.com. I'm Rebecca Adams, and today I just tried Hercules for the first time, injected it into my shoulders, and I'm a little embarrassed to admit that I had the misconception that Hercules was just for men, but for it's wonderful for any woman looking to build muscle mass, if you just want to get a good pump, and I had no idea how vascular it would make me, and I felt it immediately, and it was... I'm so glad I finally tried it. Um, so with Hercules, I also noticed it was a lot easier for me to focus on my mind-muscle connection. So I could really hone in on building my delts, which I always struggle with. And I could really almost felt like I was seeing the growth as I was working out. And it's just nice to see the vascularity and the immediate results you get right after injecting. So one of my other favorite products is Nectar of Gods. I usually take that first thing in the morning. I work in a school which is filled with germs, especially with being around young kids. And I have not been sick one time this year. So I really do attribute that to using Nectar of Gods. It has antioxidants, boosts my immunity, and gives me that little bit of extra energy in the morning. I'm loving the ECA staff. Usually around 3 or 4 p.m. I kind of hit that wall, I think as most people do, and so that gives me a little bit of an edge when I need to hit the gym at the end of the day. I have more, more energy, I can lift longer, whether that's for cardio or if I'm lifting weights. It gives me a lot more energy, especially towards the end of my day. It gives me more focus, and I'm really noticing uh, fat burning results. I'm trying to cut a little bit right now and lean out, especially as you know, summer's rolling around. So having that um, fat burning properties, I'm really noticing a difference. I've been really impressed with Titan Medical Center's hospitality, how much they really seem to care about all of their clients. You know, whether they're trying to reach out to me, whether it's a phone call, a text message, or an email, they always follow up always are supportive. Every person I've spoken with on the phone is really friendly and doesn't hesitate to answer any of my questions. And the service in terms of just getting their products is wonderful. I don't have to wait that long because I don't live close and I'm not the best planner. So if I wait last minute, it's still kind of, it's nice when I can get the product delivered really quickly, which they do. It's only a couple days and it's at my front door. I've had such a wonderful experience with Titan Medical Center. I would recommend them to anybody, whether that's for overall health and wellness, somebody that's looking to lose a little bit of weight, if you're wanting to gain muscle, whatever your body goals are, even for physically or even mentally, Titan Medical Center is the best place to go to for all of your health needs. You think you might have low testosterone or you just don't know because you don't know the symptoms or what to look for. So let's break those down so you know exactly what's going on or exactly what to look for to see if you have low testosterone. And then you may want to do a blood test to find out and see if you really do. The first thing, you're going to have low energy. So you're going to get up in your day, no matter how much rest you got the night before, and you're still going to be tired. And you're going to ask yourself, why am I tired like this? It's just because I'm getting older. What's going on here? That's one. Two, mental focus or clarity. You're gonna might have some brain fog. I used to call it the walking dead syndrome. I used to have low testosterone myself. I used to get up during the day, just know what I had to do, kind of get through that. And then after that, it kind of went brain dead or down and then was real tired and wanted to go to sleep. So that's the next one, mental clarity and mental focus. That's a big one, right? The next one after that, feeling of motivation. So if you're not really motivated to really want to go out there and conquer things, this could also be a symptom of low testosterone. You might be unmotivated. You might not want to do the things that you used to like to do, they used to give you pleasure. Some people was playing basketball, some people might have been playing chess, some girls like to go to the mall, some things that gave you pleasure. They don't give you pleasure anymore and you just don't know why. And this goes back into circling into depression. Some of us feel like we have depression, we feel down, and we don't know why we feel down. Everything else in life is going good, right? 
family's going good, job's going great, but you just don't know why you feel down like this. It just came out of nowhere. You feel out of blue. You go to the doctor and tell them, and they want to give you antidepressants. This could be low testosterone. And this works for both males and females and all these different symptoms that we're talking about. After that, let's talk about libido, okay? So libido or sexual function, and this works for both males and females as well. So if things aren't working right, downstairs or in the bedroom per se, this could also be a sign of low testosterone. And you might think, oh, my libido is good, right? But things could still be off and you just don't know it yet because you don't even know what that feeling feels like anymore. And we don't want you to feel like that. You should want to feel your best. Other things like cholesterol, cardiovascular, all these different things go a part of low testosterone. So if you want to make sure that you have the best possible quality of life and that all these symptoms go away, I would really recommend for you guys to get a blood test to figure out if you have low testosterone. And if you do, you guys can make the educated decision to see, hey, do I wanna fix this and improve my quality of life, or wanna not fix this and keep going along the way that I'm going? You're probably gonna say, I wanna fix this. So, don't delay, call or contact us today, 727-389-3220. Type Medical Center can help you guys get back on track and feeling like you should be. Like a million bucks, like a true Titan. Titan strong all day, every day. My name is Jordan, I'm here at Titan Medical Center. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about my favorite therapies that I take every day when I work out. Uh, my favorite therapy here is the Hercules Potion. You know, not only is it good for, great for recovery, but it's also, you know, makes my lifts a lot longer, uh, gives me more energy, and to be honest, gives me the best punts I've ever had with anything that I've ever taken before. So with the Hercules Potion, I'm gonna talk about is the confidence. The best part about the confidence, you're gonna work out harder, you're gonna work out longer, and your recovery is gonna be way better. Another therapy that I want to talk about here at Time Medical Center is the ECA Stack Plus. You know, it gives you great energy, you know, no, never any crash, you know, it keeps me going all day throughout the day, you know, you got to take one pill and you're good to go. And also I want to talk about is the Titan Medical Center service that they have here. You know, not only do they call me right before my appointment here, day before, they call me, give me a heads up to kind of remind me, you know, uh, everything that they do is very professional, always on time, never late, and trust me, it won't disappoint you. I'm very happy to be a part of the Titan family here. Um, not only do they treat me like family, but again, it's always just, you know, first class everything, great people, great connection with everybody. And honestly, it just feels like my second family. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right guys. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here are going to give you guys some great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully up your relationship to whole new levels by igniting those flames or maybe working on some things that might need to be worked on, right? Yeah. And if you're not in a relationship, you'll have this great information so when you go into your future relationship, it'll be right there when you need it and you can pull it out and use it. Yep. Just Put it right there. <laughs> See your log box. So um, let, let's get started on the topic of today. So the topic of today is hormones and how they can affect the relationship, both on a guy's side and a girl's side, mm -hmm. right? Um, and you know what? It might not start off with this issue. It might start off with this issue. Who knows? But usually couples, if they, let's say, meet in their 20s and they start dating and then marriage and then kids the whole nine, there could be some issues with hormones in the late 20s or early 30s. There was, yeah. For right? For females out there or even for males. It just is a whole new uh, crazy thing that's been happening with males and females and especially with all the sicknesses out there affecting different hormones. 
right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it doesn't even matter the sicknesses. We're talking about deodorants, laundry detergents, you know, just things that, that you're heating up your food yeah. in uh, plastic wear in the microwave, like these weird things you would never think affect your hormones. I mean, it's ultimately like we're all doomed to yeah. have bad hormones. <laughs> hormones are really messed up, so. Yeah. It's crazy. I, it's crazy. And, and the chemicals that Teresa's talking about are EDCs, endocrine disrupting chemicals. And they're all around us. They're really in the environment that we breathe in. There are a lot of plastics uh, that we utilize for either food storage or even for drinking, right? Like water bottles. Um, and there's a lot of different things out there that are going to affect your hormones on the inside. And we really don't get to see these hormones. It's not on the outside, right? So if we had like a broken arm, you could see a broken arm. And you can fix the broken arm because you can see where the problem's at, get it all adjusted, get it right, and then you're on your way to healing. Mm -hmm. With hormones, it's inside. So we really don't get to see inside of our body, right? We don't get to see really what's going on with our hormones or where they're at daily. Mm -hmm. Like when we look in the mirror every day when we wake up, we see our body and we're like, all right, cool, everything's fine. Even if there's a spot that's not supposed to be there and you've checked yourself, you're like, all right, I might need to go to the dermatologist and get this checked out. Mm -hmm. But for the inside, for hormones, you just got to feel bad. <laughs> you might not even know you feel bad. You might not even know that these symptoms are hormone related because you're not educated on hormones. The average person really isn't. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. The average person today is a lot more in tuned and inclined getting, to look into these different medical treatments for hormones. Yeah, more preventative medicine. But some people really don't know what's going on and it really can affect your personal life, your quality of life, and also your relationship. Big time. Big time. And we're not just talking about sexual relationships. Right. Literally talking about just being like crazy. Right. right. You know, when I met John, I was, I was, I mean, listen, I'm crazy. All right. We'll get it on recording. <laughs> I'm crazy. So I don't need any more crazy on top of the crazy. Right. So. Anyways, come to find out, I actually had a high estrogen issue. And, you know, anybody has high estrogen, just think about a, a female on their menstrual cycle. But it was like that all the time, right? So it's like, you know, I would even I would even put my shoe on and the shoe would fit wrong. And I'm like, Ugh! and like, you know, I'd start screaming and huffing and puffing. And, then, you know, I was being like almost bipolar. But I'm like, listen, I, I don't think I need any medications. I think something is seriously off, right? Yeah. Go check my hormones. Come to find out. It's my high estrogen. And it was, you know, it was. It was affecting our relationship because, you know, I was being crazy with him. You know, I was being mean and moody and, you know, plenty of other, you know, wonderful things that went with this, I'm sure. Your boy's a survivor. <laughs> survivor! He's a soldier! <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it's, it, I think it's important because, you know, obviously we all know that hormones can affect you and the bedroom and all that stuff. And, you know, we all think the bedroom is very important. But, you know, being able to communicate with one another, like, I really think if your hormones are off, this is guys and girls, right? If your hormones are off, it makes you feel very, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, it can make you feel a lot of different ways. Depressed, Sad, anxious, mad, yeah. maybe short fused. Short fused. That's a big one. Irritable. Irritable. Like, because you could very be sensitive. very, very irritable. Or yeah. yeah, maybe you'll start. Very sensitive. You'll be crying over something really, really like you shouldn't cry about. Yeah. I mean, guys are <laughs> crying over frisky commercials. And yeah. These, these little sap ads are on TV. Yeah. And then you're, you know? you're looking at him like, what's your problem? He's like, it's just my allergies. You know, it's, it's just, I need some Zyrtec. No, 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 no. <laughs> you need to get your hormones checked. Because you're acting crazy. So, yeah. you know, if you ever feel like anything's off, you know, obviously there's some very bullet point things that can point to yeah. being, you know, hormonally off. Um, outside of being just, I have no energy, I'm tired. And remember, having no energy, being tired also affects the relationship because yep. then you don't want to do nothing right? right all you want to do is lay around and you don't want to go anywhere and you're tired and you know me this morning i was tired you know i was tired because i'm really tired and i just actually was not sleeping and i was working but you know my hormones are dialed in thank goodness but you know it's like you just don't want to do anything right. you literally don't want to do anything so what if your partner's like out the door like come on let's go let's go here let's do this let's, yeah let's go uh, all anywhere energy. you know it's like then you're not keeping up with them and then you know, things can really fall off the bandwagon like that quick. It can put strains on the relationship. And, you know, if it happens for long extended periods of time, you know, the partner might be like, well, is it me? Or is it, you know, and what really is it? And, and why? You and, don't want to hang out with me. And then at that point, you know, like you're me. really starting to put a lot of strain on the relationship, right? And then how are you going to mend that? And the, the whole thing is, is that you need to, you know, repair yourself so you can repair the relationship. And that just happens. Even people that, um, you know, 
So obviously, you know, your sleeping patterns can be messed up because of hormones. You know, your weight gain or metabolism can be screwed up because of hormones. Your sexual function, your physical uh, state and uh, mental state can all be disrupted by hormones. Yeah, emotional. Um, emotional too, right? So, you know, even mentally, um, you know, so hormones can make you feel a different way if could they're off. It definitely make you, like, so you could have right? a scenario that takes place, right? And if your hormones are off, you can, versus your hormones not being yeah. off, you could treat that scenario two totally different ways. Yes. Just because of the way you're processing it. Yes. Right? Because the way that you, maybe you're feeling, if you had it dialed in and you weren't being so sensitive, yeah. maybe you wouldn't have been so upset about yeah. it. You know? So it's it's important, guys. I feel like we've uh, kind of skipped over that. We haven't talked about it in a while. So I, yeah. you know, it's telling That's John today. I'm like, hey, listen, you know, I think it's important because I get it all the time, you know, messages from guys specifically. We have a, you know, a good, nice little population of guys. But specifically guys because they're like oh you know now i get to play i get to play with my kids and i feel like my whole life has changed and i'm going to work and i actually want to go to work you know mm -hmm. i'm motivated to go do stuff and i want to hang out with my wife and finally better in the bedroom and you know just mentally you know, i mean once you start to really get better and feel better it just kind of takes you off and you get you get to get to go off to the races quality of life improves all the way around mm -hmm. for you and then when that happens for others that are around you it, it, yeah it spreads it, it's contagious right the positivity can be contagious or negativity can be contagious so in both ways in light so at that point you're really enhancing your life and you're enhancing the life of the people you love that are around you and that's really important I mean even if you have you know you have a relationship and hopefully that relationship just keeps progressing progressing and you guys get into a marriage and kids and the whole nine where these these energy disruptions uh, or you know short fuse situations can not only affect your wife and your loved one but your kids too as well mm -hmm. right and you know kids they need a little bit more patience than adults do I think in a life because they might not know what's right or wrong in situations you might have to correct them and uh, you know when you're correcting an adult it's a little bit more harsher right because they should know right from wrong but when you're talking to a kid you know you, you got to take that in consideration sometimes I mean, I've done it before where, you know, I've, I've corrected Peter and, you know, it wasn't because my hormones are off. It's just because I treat him like an adult. So, you know, I tell him that, you know, he's a kid. And I was like, yeah, he is a kid, you know, but I want him to know. I want him to know what, what's right and what's wrong. And he should know by this time in his life. But sometimes right if, if his hormones might have been a little off for a, a day or two, because it happens to everybody, right? Yeah. You may, maybe you might have been, you might have been a little nicer about it. And John's a nice guy, it's man. True. I'm telling you, you would think it was the other way around, but this is the good cop. I'm the bad cop. That's fine. I don't mind being the bad cop. But, you know, when he does play bad cop, it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's yeah. happening? Yeah. What did I do? Who did I murder? <laughs> you know, so this is why, you know, I really like dogs because they just, they love you no matter what. They come back. Unconditional. You can, you can be, you can be upset. You, it's, it is, yeah. it's unconditional love, you yeah. know, and then they just, they'll go away and they'll come right back. It doesn't matter what you do. They'll just always come right back yeah. and give you a lick. That's true. I'm like, wow. Animals are awesome in that light, man. Yeah, most, I, like, most I, like animals, a, I like a dog. Especially dogs are very, very forgiving. I like dogs. I'm allergic like, to cats, but I like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you know, it's it's just something. And like I said, like, you know, it's something that you should get checked out. And whether, you know, it's 30 or late 20s or in your 40s or 50s, right? And you're feeling off in some way, shape, or form. You feel like things could be better. You know, you might be, you know, having depressional thoughts and Nothing around you is depressing. I mm -hmm. mean, people look at this all the time and they're like, why am I depressed? You know, I have all these good things going for me, but I'm still not happy. Mm -hmm. So there's something that you're missing or, you know, something that could be off, you know, inside your body. And the best thing to do is to check. And blood work is obviously the best way and method to find out about these hormones and different things that are going on inside your body. Mm -hmm. right? And that's one thing that we do here at Type Medical Center that we do help a lot of couples out with. And we don't like to, you know, push ourselves on this as far as for therapies or services, but we think this is important enough oh, sure. to bring up in this episode where we can help people out there that might not know or might not know where to go for, for this help. And um, For the record, yeah. Titan Medical Center is not a gym. Titan Medical Center. We're medical center. Yes. <laughs> Let me just put this out there. I don't know why people come up to us and ask us that. I mean, 
Oh, we wear gym clothes sometimes. I mean, I honestly don't wear that many gym clothes, but I mean, there's people that wear gym clothes <laughs> <laughs> with tank tops and they have tight on it, you know, just because we like shirts and stuff. But of course. there's a lot of other things we do. But of this course. is one of the big things we do. This is a game changer for me when we open this business yeah. because I've had endometriosis since I was 16 years old. I've had five laparoscopies, yeah. five where they went in, burnt it all out, came all back, burnt it all out, came back. And surgeries are not fun, okay? Yeah. Especially when they're going in there and burning things off, per yeah. se, and they can only see 10% of it anyway. But for all these years, okay, so we opened up Titan, nobody saw that I had a high estrogen. Come to find out, the high estrogen is what has been fueling the endometriosis. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What do you know? Yeah. I had to put this together. Me and John yeah. put this together and yeah. piece it together like a little puzzle and then go into all the doctors that I've been seeing that have been, you know, running up my insurance for the laparoscopies and all the anesthesia and everything else they did all in the there. Recovery, all <laughs> everything else they did in there. And I'm going in there saying, hey, listen, you know, I got five scars in my midsection because you guys went in. But why didn't we ever check this? Mm -hmm. I mean, would I have had five surgeries if mm -hmm. we checked this before? You know, and then come to find out, you know, people out there that have PCOS, same thing. Yeah. You need some progesterone. Progesterone yeah. helps calm it down. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's really important. I, I got to. I've got to make sure I tell you guys about it because it's important. It mm. really is. And just, especially when you don't feel good, like if you generally just don't feel good, there has to be something else that's going on mm. outside of just your maybe post COVID that you might be blaming it on or whatever it is you're blaming it on, not getting enough Even sleep, previous, whatever. I mean, people are making excuses nowadays, you know, yeah. like I just, uh, just, I guess it's just how I feel. Be surprised. You fix it and then you feel so much better that's and you're right. like, wow. So this is normal. Yes. This is what normal feels like. Yes. I mean, for a minute, I was thinking, I was like, I'm really crazy. I'm like, I'm freaking on John over like the stupidest things. And he is the most patient man I have ever met in my life. Yeah. But thank goodness for that. We are here. <laughs> Don't let the medical gaslighting go on. Medical gaslighting yep. is when somebody goes into their practitioner and tells them they have these issues and the practitioner doesn't really look into it. Mm -hmm. It just kind of blows off the issues that are going on and say, this is just normal. You're going to have to live with it. Okay. Yeah. So the true way to find out about your hormones is the blood test. Tight Medical Center can help you guys out with that. Shameless plug. Sorry. Got to show you guys some love though. But anybody that does see this, you get your blood work for $130 wow. for as a male and $200 for a female. Now you're saying, why is a male more expensive than a female? Because we run more female tests in that, that panel. So yeah. at that point, that that's why. But, um, you just have to mention Sharice. You have to mention Sharice. That's what you have to do. You have to call show. here and mention that you saw Sharice on the TV show. Yep. And I'll tell all the staff yep. that if you say that, you get the special blood work discount. Yep. Okay. And that's a special blood work discount. Are we putting an expiration date on that? Because you know what yes. happens? People will see this yes. episode like a year from now. So, like, oh, that's right. I get this. Let's say, let's say May 1st. I was going to say. May oh. 1st is it. All right, fine. May 1st is it. Yeah, so May 1st, 2022. You see this after May 1st uh, and you call. I'm sorry. 2022. But we did put it in here. It's not in a little <laughs> fine print writing. It's us saying it to you guys. So you guys know. So that's it. Happy uh, to help you guys. We want to help you guys out. And that's really, really cheap for what you guys are getting. I hate to word, use that word. It's a better bang for the buck. Let's at least look way. at it. See what's going on. Absolutely. Won't so, kill you. guys, call or text 727 389 3220 if you guys want that blood work special. Mention Sharice in the TV show. And catch us every week here on ABC, 11 a.m. on Sundays. If you guys miss it, don't worry, you guys can DVR it. If you miss it there, don't worry, YouTube's got your back. Type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe button and the all notification bell. You'll just get to see me and Sharice and a lot more cool content from Type Medical Center. So, we appreciate you guys joining us every Sunday, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. See you then.